Professor, could you please explain the measurement methods created using scales? In our previous class, I explained four types of scales. In today's session, I will explain various methods used when designing actual questionnaires using scales. There are various types of scaling methods, such as rating scales, Likert scales, Thurstone scales, Bogarda scales, sociometric scale, Gutman scale, semantic differential scale. If you are familiar with these scaling methods, you can design surveys appropriately and usefully in context. So please pay attention to the lecture on the scaling methods. In this session, I will explain three types among various types of scaling methods, rating scales, Likert scales, and Thurstone scales. A rating scale is a scale where survey responses are presented continuously, similar to evaluating students' grades as A, B, C, D, or F. Respondents simply need to choose one option from the continuous responses for their attributes or survey answers. An example of a rating scale is as follows. How satisfied are you with the standard of living in your company? With a five-point scale, ranging from very dissatisfied, dissatisfied, neutral, satisfied, to very satisfied. The construction of a rating scale can be presented in various forms, such as a numerical, linguistic, or graphical representation. Depending on the number of options for respondents to choose from, it can be categorized as a three-point scale, five-point scale, seven-point scale, nine-point scale, and so on. Usually, survey answers are listed in the order of one, two, three, four, five. Lower numbers represent negative attitudes, while higher numbers indicate positive attitudes. The reason for designing it in this way, where lower scores reflect negative attitudes and higher scores reflect positive attitudes, is to facilitate interpretation during the analysis of the survey results. As such, rating scales are also classified as ordinal scales in the sense that they are used for grading. Likert scales are scales that present several questionnaires to measure an individual's attitudes or inclinations towards a particular survey. For example, in a job satisfaction survey, creating several questionnaires about salary level, communication, degree of opinion reflection, and job contemplation allows us to accurately measure the respondent's actual satisfaction with their work life. It can be seen that a Likert scale consisting of multiple questionnaires can measure much more accurately than a single questionnaire in the rating scale. How satisfied are you with the standard of living in your company? The Likert scale, also known as a summated rating scale, measures respondents' thoughts comprehensively by presenting multiple questionnaires for evaluation. It is named after Rensis Likert, an American social psychologist who developed this scale in the early 1930s. The Likert scale surveys commonly use a five-point or seven-point scale. The Thurstone scale is a scale used to investigate respondents' attitudes towards specific subjects. It was developed by Louis Leon Thurston in 1928 as a measure of attitudes toward religion. The Thurstone scale is a tool used to measure attitudes, mainly in psychology and sociology. For instance, as shown in the questionnaire, the scale includes the most negative attitude at one end, the most positive attitude at the other end, and various attitudes with equal intervals in between. Respondents simply need to check the box that best aligns with their opinions. When analyzing survey results, we can assess respondents' attitudes by summing up the scores of their checked answers and dividing it by the number of respondents. For example, if a respondent answers 3, 4, 6, and 7 on the questionnaire, their attitude would be 5 because 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 divided by 4 equals 5. Since the median is 4, a score of 5 would be classified as a positive attitude. The Thurstone scale was developed to address the drawback of the Likert scale, which may not be logically clear. In this sense, the Thurstone scale is also referred to as an equal appearing interval scale. 
Professor, today, thank you for explaining the rating scale, Likert scale, and Thurstone scale out of various types of measurement methods. Yes, next time, I will explain the Bogartis scale, the sociometric scale, and the Gutman scale. Please be sure to attend the class.